The desert may seem like a barren and inhospitable environment, but many incredible things have been discovered in deserts over the years. Some of the most amazing things discovered in the desert include ancient civilizations, fossils of extinct species, and rare plant and animal species, amongst other astounding artifacts. The discoveries made in deserts continue to captivate and inspire scientists, historians, and adventurers alike, offering a glimpse into the rich and diverse history of our planet. Here are several things discovered beneath the shifting sands of the desert. From a 9,000-year-old shrine to a 4,000-year-old ostrich egg, here are 20 strange things found in the desert. Number 20. 9,000-year-old shrine. In 2021, a team of archaeologists announced the discovery of a 9,000-year-old shrine in the desert of Jordan. The shrine itself is a remarkable feat of engineering, given the tools and technology available to the people who built it. The pillars are made of local sandstone, and the two standing stones are adorned with anthropomorphic carvings. The shrine is incredibly well-preserved, and while on the site, Archaeologists also discovered almost 150 marine fossils and a small-scale model of animal traps. The shrine is believed to be one of the oldest ever discovered, and its discovery sheds new light on the early religious beliefs and practices of the people who lived in the region. It's believed that the Neolithic occupants used the site to pray and give sacrificial offerings to their creator in order to have a successful hunt. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. The Marie Man The Marie Man, also known as Stewart's Giant or the Marine Giant, is a geoglyph that can be found in the Australian outback. It's a mysterious and impressive work of art that has fascinated people since its discovery in 1998. The origins and purpose of the Marie Man are still shrouded in mystery, making it a subject of much speculation and debate. It's carved into the red sandstone of the Australian outback, near the town of Marie in South Australia. It is a massive geoglyph, measuring over 4.2 kilometers in length and is perfectly visible from the air. The figure is of a man who appears to be holding a boomerang or a stick in his hand, with his head adorned with some kind of headdress or helmet. The discovery of the Marie Man was a complete accident. A helicopter pilot, Trevor Wright, was flying over the outback when he noticed the figure carved into the ground. He reported it to local authorities, who were completely unaware of the existence of the geoglyph. The discovery caused a sensation, and the Marie Man quickly became a popular tourist attraction. Despite the popularity of the Marie Man, nobody knows for sure who created it or why. But there are a lot of theories, with some suggesting that it's a work of art, while others believe that it's a message to extraterrestrial life. Some have even suggested that it's the work of a secret government agency, or that it's a tribute to an ancient Aboriginal leader. One of the most popular theories is that the Marie Man is the work of American artist Bard Cook. Cook was an artist who specialized in creating geoglyphs, and it's thought that he may have created the Marie Man as a tribute to the Aboriginal people. However, Cook himself has denied any involvement, and there's no concrete evidence to support this theory. Another theory is that the Marie Man represents an Aboriginal Dreamtime figure. The Aboriginal people have a rich culture and mythology and many of their stories involve dreamtime figures who are responsible for creating the world and its inhabitants. Some believe that the Marie Man is a representation of one of these figures, and that it was created as a tribute to Aboriginal culture. Number 18. Strange Egyptian Desert Cones The Desert Breath, also known as the Spiral Jetty of the Sahara, is a large-scale land art installation in the heart of the Egyptian desert. The installation was created by artists Denae Stratow, Alexandra Stratow, and Stella Constantinidis in 1997. It has since become a beloved cultural landmark and a popular destination for art enthusiasts and tourists alike. The installation is located in the eastern Sahara Desert near the Red Sea coast and covers an area of approximately 100,000 square meters. It consists of two large intertwined spirals that are made up of sand and rock and are arranged in a way that creates a mesmerizing optical illusion when viewed from above. The spiral shape of the installation is inspired by the natural patterns found in the desert landscape, such as the curves of sand dunes and the winding paths of desert winds. Although it's widely recognized as an art piece, some conspiracy theorists push the belief that extraterrestrial creatures created the desert breath. Number 17. The Namibian Circles 
The Namibian circles are a unique geological phenomenon located in the Namib Desert of Namibia. Each is a circular feature that's approximately 2.2 kilometers in diameter, with a circular depression at the center. The circles are also known as the Namibian fairy circles due to their mysterious appearance and the belief that they were created by fairies. The Namibian circles have been the subject of much scientific study, with researchers from all over the world trying to determine their origin and cause. Theories range from natural causes, such as termites or erosion, to supernatural explanations, such as the work of mythical creatures. One theory is that the Namibian circles are created by termites, who eat the vegetation in the center of the circles and leave the surrounding areas untouched. This would create the circular patterns that are characteristics of the circles. However, this theory has been largely debunked by scientific research, which has shown that there are no termite mounds or evidence of termite activity in the center of the circles. Another theory is that the circles are caused by underground water or mineral deposits that create a circular pattern in the vegetation above. This theory has also been largely disproven as there is no evidence of any underground water or mineral deposits in the area. More recent research suggests that the Namibian circles are caused by competition between vegetation for limited resources, such as water and nutrients. As the vegetation grows and spreads out, it creates circular patterns as the edges of the vegetation die off due to a lack of resources. This theory is supported by the fact that the vegetation in the center of the circles is usually different from the vegetation on the outside, indicating that there's a difference in resource availability. Regardless of the cause, the Namibian circles are fascinating and mysterious geological phenomena. Their unique appearance has captured the imagination of people around the world and they continue to be a subject of study and speculation among scientists and the general public alike. The circles are also important cultural and spiritual sites for the local Himba people, who believe that they're the work of their ancestors or supernatural beings. Number 16. The Works of Old Men The Works of Old Men is a series of mysterious designs etched into the desert floor of the Middle East, thought to date back thousands of years. The designs are quite enigmatic, with depictions of wheel-like structures and kite-like figures. The geoglyphs are quite similar to the Nazca lines on the expanse of Peru. They vary in shape and size, but the works of old men were less defined than the majority of the geoglyphs in Nazca. Several of the figures were clustered close together, while some were etched far from the others. To this day, it's a mystery what these figures represent and why they were created by people from 3,000 to 5,000 years ago. Excavations in the future might unveil the mystery behind these significant archaeological figures. Number 15. Horned Kangaroo Skulls The discovery of bizarre horned kangaroo fossils in Australia has caused a stir in the scientific community. These unusual fossils have led to many questions about the evolution of kangaroos and other marsupials in Australia. The fossils were discovered in the Nullarbor Desert, a location famous for its rich and diverse fossil deposits. The kangaroo fossils were found in a layer of sediment that dates back between 200,000 and 500,000 years ago. This makes them some of the oldest kangaroo fossils ever found. What makes these fossils so unusual is the presence of two large horn-like structures on top of the kangaroo's skull. The bizarre features curve backward and upwards, giving the kangaroo a distinctive appearance. They're unlike any other known kangaroo or marsupial fossils and have never been seen before. Scientists believe that the horns may have served a variety of functions. One possibility is that they were used for display purposes, to attract mates, or to intimidate rivals. Another option is that they may have been used for defense against predators, such as thylacines or marsupial lions, which were common in Australia during the late Oligocene. The discovery of these bizarre kangaroo fossils raises many questions about the evolution of kangaroos and other marsupials in Australia. Scientists believe that the kangaroo family tree is much more complex than previously thought, and that there were many different lineages of kangaroos and other marsupials that lived in Australia over the past centuries. Number 14. Vintage Video Games The Atari games of the 1970s and 80s are fondly remembered as the pioneers of the video game industry. These games were popular among children and adults alike and laid the foundation for modern-day gaming. Who would have thought that at some point, Atari video games would somehow end up in the middle of nowhere? In the early 1980s, Atari was one of the biggest names in the video game industry, 
with popular games like Pong, Breakout, and Asteroids. However, the company was struggling to keep up with the changing times. New companies like Nintendo and Sega were entering the market, and Atari's games were becoming outdated. In an attempt to stay ahead of the competition, Atari decided to produce a new game console, the Atari 2600. The development of the Atari 2600 was a massive undertaking. The company spent millions of dollars on research and development, and the console was finally released in 1977. The console was an enormous success, selling millions of units worldwide. However, Atari's success was short-lived. In 1983, the video game industry suffered a massive crash, and Atari was one of the casualties. The company was bleeding money, and its stock prices were pummeling. As if that wasn't enough, the company developed an adventure game titled E.T. The Extraterrestrial in hopes of saving the company. Unluckily for them, the video game wasn't as well received as they expected. It was so awful that others deemed it completely unplayable, which was a bold statement considering there weren't really many options to choose from at the time. Drowning in debt and unsold video game copies, Atari executives decided to bury thousands of unsold copies of their infamous game E.T. the Extraterrestrial in a landfill in Alamogordo, New Mexico. The game was widely considered to be one of the worst video games ever made, and Atari was hoping to bury the evidence of their failure. The burial of the games became a legendary tale, with rumors of the game's burial in the desert spreading across the gaming industry. Number 13. The Nazca Lines the Nazca Lines are a series of ancient geoglyphs located in the Nazca Desert of southern Peru. These lines have been known for decades, but a recent discovery has shed new light on their origins and purpose. The Nazca Lines were first discovered in the 1920s by Peruvian archaeologist Torabio Mejia Shespi. However, it was not until the 1940s that they gained widespread recognition when American historian Paul Cossack flew over the area and observed the massive figures etched into the desert floor. Since then, the Nazca Lines have been a subject of intense interest and speculation among archaeologists, historians, and conspiracy theorists alike. The lines themselves are made up of over 800 geoglyphs, which were created by removing the reddish-brown iron oxide-coated pebbles that cover the surface of the Nazca Desert. The lines form various shapes and designs, including geometric patterns, animals, and human figures. Some of the most well-known designs include a hummingbird, a spider, and a humanoid figure known as the Astronaut because of its resemblance to an ancient astronomer. Despite their striking appearance, the purpose of the Nazca Lines has remained a mystery for centuries. Some theories suggest that they were used for astronomical or religious purposes, while others believe that they were created as a way to communicate with extraterrestrial beings. However, a recent discovery may provide new clues about the true nature of these enigmatic geoglyphs. In 2021, Researchers discovered a new geoglyph in Nazca, which was previously hidden beneath the desert surface. The new line, which measures over 100 feet long, depicts a serpent-like creature with fins and a head resembling a human's. The discovery of this new geoglyph has led to speculation that the Nazca lines may have been used as part of a water cult, as the creature appears to be swimming towards a series of zigzag lines that may represent water sources. If this theory is correct, it could provide a new explanation for the creation of the Nazca Lines. The Nazca Desert is one of the driest places on Earth, and access to water would have been a vital concern for the people who lived there. By creating the geoglyphs, they may have been attempting to appease a water deity or ensure a steady water supply for their crops and livestock. As new geoglyphs reveal themselves, what we know about the Nazca culture will also increase. Number 12. The Desert Kites Desert kites are a remarkable archaeological feature found in various parts of the Middle East. Initially, it was a mystery to archaeologists why they were created in the first place, but it wasn't long until their true purpose was revealed. These are man-made structures built by ancient civilizations to trap wild animals, particularly gazelles, for food and other purposes. The term kite refers to the shape of these creatures, which resemble a kite or a diamond shape when viewed from above. Several cultures, including the Nabataeans, the Egyptians, and the ancient Israelites, used desert kites. The construction of desert kites required a considerable amount of effort and planning. They were typically made of large stones or boulders, which were stacked on top of each other to create a solid barrier. The trap system was also carefully designed to ensure that the animals could not escape once they had entered it. 
desert kites were not only used for hunting, but also had significant social and economic functions. The meat from the animals caught in the kites provided a valuable food source for the local population, while the skins and other parts of the animals were used for clothing, tools, and other purposes. The kites also served as a meeting place for the local population, where people could come together to hunt and socialize. Despite their importance, many desert kites have been destroyed over time due to erosion, urbanization, and other factors. However, there are still several well-preserved examples of these structures, particularly in Jordan and Saudi Arabia. Number 11. The City of Petra The ancient city of Petra, located in modern-day Jordan, is one of the most remarkable archaeological sites in the world. Founded over 2,000 years ago, Petra was the capital of the Nabataean Kingdom and served as an important center for trade and commerce in the region. The Nabataeans planned for Petra to be an ideal hub for commerce due to its location near the Red Sea. It worked out for them, and they soon accumulated a significant amount of wealth. Today, Petra is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and attracts thousands of visitors each year, drawn in by its stunning architecture, rich history, and spectacular natural setting. Petra is famous for its intricate and impressive rock-cut architecture, which was hewn directly into the sandstone cliffs that surround the city. It's home to numerous other stunning examples of rock-cut architecture, including the monastery, the royal tombs, and the theater. Each of these structures is a testament to the skill and creativity of the Nabataean builders, who were able to create intricate and detailed buildings using only simple hand tools. The region was previously recognized as a center for trade and commerce due to its strategic location along several major trade routes. The city was located at the crossroads of the Silk Road, which linked China and India with the Mediterranean, as well as other important trade routes that connected Arabia, Egypt, and Syria. Naturally, Petra became a hub for exchanging goods and ideas, and its merchants became wealthy and powerful. Even so, the city of Petra was eventually abandoned by the Nabataean people, and the city fell into obscurity for centuries. It was not until the early 19th century that Petra was rediscovered by European explorers, who were amazed by the beauty and complexity of the ancient city. Since then, Petra has become a major tourist destination and has been the site of numerous archaeological expeditions, which have uncovered new insights into the history and culture of the Nabataean people. Today, Petra is a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from all over the world who come to explore its ancient ruins and stunning natural landscapes. Petra is sometimes called the Rose City because of the beautiful rose-colored stones used to make the buildings. The city is also an important site for cultural and educational events, including lectures, workshops, and exhibitions, which showcase the rich history and culture of the region. Number 10. Tassili Niger Rock Art Tassili Niger, located in the Sahara Desert of Algeria, is a vast plateau known for its stunning rock formations and amazing prehistoric rock art. The Tassili Niger rock art, dating back thousands of years, is one of the world's most significant collections of prehistoric art and a testament to the artistic and cultural achievements of ancient civilizations. The Tassili Niger rock art was created by the indigenous people who lived there from around 12,000 BCE to 1000 BCE. Over 15,000 prehistoric carvings and paintings adorn the caves, rock shelters, and exposed rock surfaces in the area. The pieces feature a wide variety of subjects, including animals, human figures, and abstract designs. The art is noted for its vivid colors and intricate details, which provide insight into the daily lives, spiritual beliefs, and cultural practices of the ancient people who created it. One of the most striking aspects of the Tassali Niger rock art is the range of animals depicted including elephants, giraffes, antelopes, and cattle, as well as predators such as lions and cheetahs. The art suggests that the region was once much wetter and more hospitable to animal life than it is today. The rock art also features a variety of human figures, including hunters, warriors, dancers, and shamans. Many of the human figures are depicted wearing intricate clothing and jewelry, suggesting a highly developed sense of aesthetics and a sophisticated understanding of material culture. Number 9. Red-Haired Chinese Mummies The Terem Mummies, also known as the Xinjiang Mummies, are a group of ancient human remains found in the Terem Basin of western China. These mummies have fascinated researchers and the public alike for their unique preservation, revealing insight into the lives and cultures of people who lived thousands of years ago. 
The mummies were first discovered in the 1980s, and since then, over 200 have been excavated. The mummies are believed to date back to as early as 1800 BCE and were likely the ancestors of modern-day Uyghur people. The dry desert conditions of the Terran Basin have preserved these remains so well that many still have intact hair, skin, and clothing. The mummies were incredibly distinguishable due to their physical appearance. Unlike many other ancient populations in the region, the Terran mummies have distinctly European features, such as blonde or red hair and blue or green eyes. This has led to speculation that the Terran Basin was once home to a range of diverse populations, or that there may have been an ancient migration or trade network connecting the region to other parts of the world. The Terran mummies allowed archaeologists to glimpse into the daily lives and cultural practices of people who lived in western China thousands of years ago. Many of the mummies were buried with elaborate burial goods, such as pottery, jewelry, and textiles, indicating a high level of material culture. The clothing worn by the mummies is also of interest, as it includes intricate designs and patterns that reflect the artistic traditions of the time. Moreover, the Terran mummies have also revealed evidence of ancient medical practices. Some of the mummies bear evidence of medical procedures, such as surgical incisions and tattoos, believed to have been used for acupuncture. This suggests that the ancient people of the Terran Basin had a sophisticated understanding of medicine and could perform complex procedures. There have been debates over the cultural identity of the mummies and how they should be interpreted. Some researchers argue that the European features of the mummies are evidence of ancient Indo-European migrations. In contrast, others suggest that the mummies were part of a unique cultural group in the region. However, a recent analysis revealed that the Terran Basin mummies didn't come from a distant land. Instead, they were local Asians who originated in the region. Number 8. Strange Concrete Arrows The deserts of the southwestern United States are home to a curious and intriguing feature, the series of large concrete arrows that stretch across the landscape. These strange arrows have puzzled travelers and adventurers for years and continue to capture the imagination of those who encounter them. Aliens? Secret government messages? A puzzle? It turns out the truth was simple. The concrete arrows were first constructed in the 1920s and 1930s as part of a massive federal project to establish a network of airmail routes across the country. Prior to this project, airmail pilots relied on visual cues such as smokestacks and water towers to navigate their flights. But as the distance and speed of airmail flights increased, it became clear that a more reliable and accurate system was needed. The solution was to construct a series of beacons each consisting of a tall tower with a powerful light on top and a large concrete arrow pointing the way to the next beacon. These beacons were spaced roughly 10 miles apart and allowed pilots to navigate the airmail routes, even in darkness or bad weather. Over time, advances in technology made airmail beacons obsolete. The beacons were gradually dismantled or abandoned, and the concrete arrows were left to slowly weather away in the desert sun. But despite their disuse, the arrows remained a curiosity for travelers and adventurers who marveled at their size and mysterious purpose. Today, many of the concrete arrows still stand in the desert, often accompanied by other remnants of the airmail era, such as abandoned buildings and rusted equipment. They serve as a testament to the ingenuity and determination of the early airmail pilots who braved the dangers of the desert to establish a reliable mail delivery system. Number 7. T-Rex-like Dinosaur the Egyptian desert is known for unveiling the most exciting artifacts left behind by the ancient Egyptian civilization. However, millions of years ago, it was also home to flourishing flora and fauna. A very long time ago, about 98 million years in the past, the Egyptian desert wasn't as barren as it is today. Amongst the lush trees were dinosaurs, including the theropod, similar to the Tyrannosaurus rex. This dinosaur had hollow bones and three-fingered limbs, and was also identified as a vicious carnivore. This discovery shed light on how the biome of Egypt changed over the course of millions of years. Who knows? More fossils might be discovered in the future, revealing more about the ecosystem in the region millions of years ago. Number 6. The Whale Boneyard In 2011, a team of Chilean scientists made a remarkable discovery. They found a mass graveyard or boneyard of prehistoric whales in Chile's Atacama Desert. 
This discovery has provided scientists with a rare opportunity to study the ancient marine life of this region and shine a light on the history of these massive creatures that once roamed the seas. The boneyard contains the remnants of more than 40 whales, including many of the largest species that ever lived on Earth. The fossils are estimated to be between 6 and 9 million years old, dating back to the late Miocene period. The fossils are remarkably well preserved, with some of the skulls and jaws still intact, providing scientists with valuable insight into the anatomy of these prehistoric whales. One of the most significant finds in the boneyard was the skeleton of a Bacillosaurus, a genus of prehistoric whales that lived approximately 40 million years ago. The species was one of the earliest whales, known for its long, slender body and sharp teeth. The Bacillosaurus skeleton found in the boneyard is one of the most complete ever discovered, and scientists hope that it will provide important clues about the evolution of whales. Number 5. The Atacama Mummy The Atacama Mummy, also known as the Atacama Humanoid, is a controversial discovery that has puzzled scientists and intrigued the public since it was first found in 2003. The mummy is a small humanoid figure with an elongated skull and unusual skeletal features, leading some to speculate that it could be a long-lost alien or an undiscovered species of human. However, further analysis has revealed that the Atacama mummy is actually a human fetus that suffered from a rare genetic disorder called skeletal dysplasia. The disorder affects the development of the bones and can cause them to appear elongated or distorted. The mummy's unusual features, including the elongated skull, are consistent with the symptoms of skeletal dysplasia. Despite these findings, the Atacama mummy continues to fascinate scientists and the public alike. Some have suggested that the mummy could provide important insight into the history of human evolution and the genetics of rare disorders. Others have criticized the attention given to the mummy, arguing that it distracts from more significant discoveries and perpetuate sensationalized myths about extraterrestrial life. Number 4. Unknown DNA on Mars If a photo of a region of the Atacama Desert and Mars were to be shown to someone, they probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference between them. Aside from the similarity of the Martian terrain to the desert of Atacama, both are awful places to live. Only the most formidable creatures can endure the scorching hot landscape of the Atacama Desert and Mars was thought of as a lifeless planet. But recently, scientists discovered fragments of bizarre DNA in Martian soil. Scientists discovered genetic material while examining the planet. However, scientists couldn't identify the organism which the DNA came from. While there's no definitive proof of life on Mars, these discoveries give us hope that microbial life exists or existed on the red planet. Number 3. Mysterious Reef Millions of years ago, the Nullarbor Plain in southern Australia was a vast ocean. Recently, scientists discovered remnants of the watery biome that was once located in the now barren desert. With the use of powerful satellite imagery, a team of scientists led by geologists from the Slovenian Academy of Sciences and Arts discovered an ancient reef. The ancient reef featured an elevated ring that measured 4,265 feet in diameter. Scientists also discovered remnants of microbial creatures around the ring. Further studies are expected to yield more information about the fascinating geological features of the Nullarbor Plain. Number 2. 4,500-year-old Sumerian Palace Earlier this year, archaeologists made an astonishing discovery in modern-day Iraq. The team uncovered the ruins of a 4,500-year-old Sumerian palace, one that was sought after by archaeologists and historians. This discovery is a remarkable achievement, as it sheds light on the advanced civilization of the Sumerians and their outstanding architectural achievements. The Sumerian civilization is one of the oldest in the world, dating back to around 4000 BC. The Sumerians were known for their advanced technology, sophisticated writing system, and innovative architecture. They built many magnificent structures, including palaces, temples, and ziggurats. The discovery of the astounding structures in the ancient city is a testament to their architectural prowess. The palace, hailed as the Lord Palace, is a massive complex. It's believed to have been built around 4,500 years ago and used for several centuries. Around the enormous structure were 200 cuneiform tablets containing the administrative records of the ancient culture. The discovery of this palace remains to be one of the most significant and exciting finds of the year. And now it's time for today's topic. What they captured in a desert shocked the whole world. 
In 2022, a bizarre phenomenon was seen in the desert of East Asia. Rain is scarce in the desert regions, and a small pond of water is hard to come by. And yet, the locals were welcomed by a shoal of fish weaving through the desert sand. This sight is sure to make you scratch your head and wonder what on earth is happening. No one knows what happened to the shoal of fish. It's theorized that the fish streaming down the sand came from an overflowing lake or body of water nearby. Do you have your own theories about this strange phenomena? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. 4,000-year-old ostrich eggs The Negev Desert in southern Israel is a harsh and unforgiving landscape, but it has also been a rich source of archaeological discoveries for many years. The Negev Desert in southern Israel is a harsh and unforgiving landscape, but it has also unveiled countless artifacts over the years. One such discovery was made earlier this year when 4,000-year-old ostrich eggs were uncovered from the desert sands. These eggs are a remarkable find as they provide insight into the ancient people who lived in the region and their way of life. A team of archaeologists from the Israel Antiquities Authority discovered the ostrich eggs. The eggs were found near a prehistoric campsite used by the desert nomads who lived in the region as early as 7,500 years ago. Some of the ostrich eggs were decorated with designs, which were created by carving into the eggshell using a sharp tool. The designs are typical of those found on pottery vessels from the same period and are believed to have had religious or symbolic significance. Humans have used ostrich eggs for thousands of years, primarily as a food source and a material for making various objects. In fact, a single ostrich egg has the nutritional value of more than two dozen chicken eggs. In ancient times, ostrich eggs were highly valued for their size and durability, and they were often decorated with intricate designs and used for ceremonial purposes. In some cultures, ostrich eggs were even believed to have magical properties and were used in various rituals and ceremonies. Which of these desert discoveries intrigued you the most? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.